Yeah, don't look now, but the demons are attacking. Yeah, I know, uh, they just come in groups of three. They fire little pellets, something like that. I don't know, maybe I should go to bed until the whole thing rolls over or something. Yar. Wait, you mean I could do something about it? Do I want to? Nah, I think I'll just go to bed. Okay, lame introduction aside, obviously we're going to be looking at Demon Attack for the Atari 2600. I believe there's a version of this game for the Intellivision, but I never saw that version and I never played Intellivision in my life. Outside of a compilation set for PlayStation 2, so I don't know anything about that version. So we won't be talking about that version. We'll be talking about the one that I did play, the one for the Atari 2600. Demon Attack was actually the subject of a legal pissing match between Atari and iMagic back in the day due to the alleged similarities between Demon Attack and Phoenix, a title arcade game ported over to the 2600 by Atari. I don't know some people might have noticed the similarities between the two, but for some reason I never did. Unless the similarity was that they were both space shooters and there was a floor. In any case, the two settled and Demon Attack would go on to become a favorite on the 2600. And for good reason, because it's a great game. Demon Attack was one of those childhood favorites that I used to play constantly back in the days when I had my old Atari 7800. You know, the system nobody got, despite having some excellent arcade conversions and backwards compatibility with the 2600 library. And even today, it's still a generally enjoyable game that follows an all too simple and familiar premise. Aliens, or rather demons in this case, are attacking you and you have to destroy them all to move on to the next level. Do well clearing a wave of demons and you earn an extra life. And this will happen rather frequently during the initial stages of the game. It's a fairly simple premise that's rather easy to follow, but as you progress farther into the game, the demons become more difficult and more cunning, introducing a couple new abilities, such as splitting into two smaller demons when you shoot them, as well as streaming lasers that follow their position, making them increasingly more difficult to dodge. It's a nice little way to vary up the challenge a bit, aside from speeding up the action, which is the case with most games. Not that it's a bad thing, because faster enemies are a challenge in themselves, but... Yeah, well, you know what I'm trying to get at. It. Graphically speaking, Demon Attack is fairly good looking for an Atari title. Anytime an Atari video game pulls off a gradient background in the form of anything being a sky, or in this case, the floor, I'm easily swayed to say that it looks good. Fortunately, the variety of demons you encounter in this game look decisively menacing in this 2600 format, and don't come across as choppy in terms of animation despite having few frames. It certainly helps that the pulsing ambient background noise helps to add to the menacing atmosphere of the overall game, with the tempo rising as more demons are slain. Now, like most 2600 titles, Demon Attack has a variety of alternate modes. Usually these make the games more difficult or some other curveball variation. The most intriguing aspect is the two-player alternating mode, where control of the ship alternates between the two players at predetermined intervals. It's a mode that keeps the tension up as both players have to be on the ready once they gain control of the ship, lest they be destroyed by the demon's attack. Or if you want, you could play this solo and, you know, watch as your ship is dehabilitated by nobody on the second stick and subsequently falling prey to the demon's attack. In any case, it's a nice little feature that I wouldn't mind seeing in more modern games these days. Overall, if you have an Atari 2600 or 7800 for that matter, enjoy space shooters and have had the chance to play Demon Attack again, then I highly suggest you do so. It's fairly cheap these days, and it's a ton of fun. If you don't have an Atari, the game's also available on the Activision Anthology set that was released for PlayStation 2 several years ago. Either way, Demon Attack is a solid space shooter for the system and is a great time to be had by all.